honestly the taste and the amount of caffeine is just black now this really is a good cup of coffee why is it brown coffee and not just coffee we don't know marketing maybe hmm i like it what do you think why do i have to taste it it's a second opinion this is why i need a second opinion <laughs> you suck at this kishore food vlogger ke bhi hai Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and another taste test. So in this video, I'm going to be tasting 10 instant coffee to see which one's the best. And by instant coffee, I mean the three-in-one mixer. So everything that we're going to have to do, we don't have to add anything extra other than maybe sugar if you need it. So basically, I'm just going to add hot water to my coffee mixes. So we're going to be judging the instant coffee is based on three things: mixability, taste, and how strong it is, or the amount of caffeine in it. So we're gonna start with Nescafe Original because I feel like everyone's like familiar with this. This is the OG instant coffee mix, and you can basically find it everywhere. This is our Nescafe three-in-one original mix, the classic one. Adding some hot water to it, mixy mixy, and it has mixed quite nicely. And by the color of it, I know it's gonna be very 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 light. And probably not gonna like it. Nescafe three in one original. <laughs> A nail. This is something I used to have during my school college days when I couldn't afford better coffees. So yeah. So I rate this coffee four out of ten because honestly the taste and the amount of caffeine is just black. The mixability is nice, but. Mix well up, case it doesn't taste good. Sticking with Nescafe, we're gonna be trying their creamy latte next. So this is, I think, new, and it looked nice, and I wanted to try it, and it's also twenty percent extra. So creamy latte from Nescafe. I think this is gonna mix well as well, but I don't know. Maybe I'm going to company add kurbo so that it's like more denser and but tastes better. I drink more coffee than this regularly. Like this is on a com. This is too less. But let's try it. So this is creamy latte. So definitely it has more milk proportion than coffee. I think so. Creamy latte from Ca Nescafe. Cappuccino with this. Oh, significantly better than the Nescafe original. Like it made me want to take another sip. I would definitely prefer it to be a bit more stronger, but then again, this is a latte, so it's not as strong as cappuccino or just a black coffee. So, well, not bad. It mixed very nice, tastes good, caffeine is all right. Um, I'd give this a six out of ten, only because if I add more water, it's gonna get very diluted, and this is like on a cold brew coffee. So, just so you guys know, this is based on my taste and preference. You might like things that I don't like. Again, just saying. For all the dumbasses out there. For our next coffee, we're gonna try coffee. So I think this is coffee. This is coffee house. It's pro. It's produced in Bangladesh. The factory is in Norshingi. I've never heard of it before, but I found it while searching for instant coffees for my video. And let's see how it tastes. Apparently, it's smart refreshment. Okay, again, just adding a little less water. Again, till now all the coffees we tried mixed pretty nice. They do look the same. Yeah, looks like this. So trying three in one from Coffee Coffee House. We're gonna smell stronger than Nescafe. Hmm. It's like the Nescafe original, except slightly bad. It's not bad. It's even worse than the Nescafe original. It has a weird taste. Like Ami Pachan. It has a weird taste and it has a, and it's a very weird smell. Mm. It has this chemically smell. It tastes very fake. So it's like fake coffee. So I'm gonna have to give this a three out of ten. Three? I'm too good. Bangladeshi one. Two gees. Actually, it's it's like a three out of ten. It's not doing two, good. Two, two. It's a, it's a two out of ten because other than mixability, it has nothing going for it, and also it has like weird aftertaste, weird smell. Tastes very chemically. I'm not gonna. Recommend this to anyone. Next, we're gonna try this creamy latte from Tora Baker. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen this. It's pretty popular. So, guys, just gonna add some lights because it feels a bit dark. So now we have some lights. Let's taste this creamy latte from Tora Baker. Yeah. I tried this before as well. It's nice. Yeah, I think you're doing this. This is from Indonesia, right? Huh. 
it's made in Indonesia so they give you sugar separately here so you can add as much as you want or as little as you want so adding water to my creamy latte from Torabika all the coffees are mixing very nicely so this creamy latte I used to have it a lot it has a very coconutty smell I don't know if it's just me that gets it it has a coconut milk smell it doesn't taste like your regular coffee. It has a coconut smell. I get it. Creamy latte from Tora Bika. Now, this is a good cup of coffee. The amount of caffeine is nice. It's thick. It's dense. It's creamy. It's doing the job right. And you can probably add a bit more water without watering it down. I like it. I actually do really like it. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I think the trick with instant coffee is to know how much water to add without like watering it down because you can't go back nor can you add more extra powder. So just start with little and then you can just add more water later. Next we're going to be trying brown coffee from Coffee Co. I think I've had this before as well but I forgot what it tastes like. Why is it brown coffee and not just coffee? We don't know. Marketing maybe. Adding water to my Coffee Co brown coffee. Okay, this is significantly darker than... Yeah. Maybe they added brown sugar, maybe that's why it's brown coffee. This is significantly brown. Brown coffee by Coffee Co. Mm. 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 So it's too sweet for me, but I think it's right for you, so you tell me how you like it. Oh, why is it so sweet? It's too sweet. If it wasn't this sweet, it probably would have tasted nice, but I can't have more than one sip of this because it's too sweet for me. If you like drown your coffee in sugar, you might like this, and because of that, I'm gonna have to give this a three. Next, we're gonna be trying a very hyped up coffee that's like creating waves recently. It's Nescafe's Hazelnut. This is new. So most of you guys want to see how it tastes, so I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to leave it for later. So you're going to have to watch till the end to see me enjoy the hazelnut latte. Sorry. So, I'm being slightly nutty. <laughs> now we're going to move on to cappuccinos. We have three cappuccinos here. One from Torabica, one from Santos, and this one's from Delizio Caffino. So all these are like cappuccinos. I'm going to just go with uh, Delizio Caffino. Yeah, with Torabica. Torabica this is the more common one and the Delazio is like the premium one. Okay. So let's have this for the last one. Okay, so we're gonna start with Tora because cappuccino. So I love how they have these like choco granules for you to decorate your coffee. So we're gonna start with our Tora Bika cappuccino. Again, I think I've had it before, but it's been a while since I've had these um, instant coffees. So I forgot what it tastes like. That's a lot of, that's a lot of powder. That's a lot of powder. Yeah, it's a lot of powder. None of the coffees has formed like grains or become like formed clumps so mixability wise all of them are doing really great cappuccino from Torabica mm. I like it what do you think? why do I have to taste it? it's a second opinion I don't like it it tastes like syrup I like syrup like this is why I need a second opinion. You suck at this. Kishar food blog at the beer. Kishar food beer content girl. You know, boost us. I tried to see the beer. I was it too. It too. I did. I wanted to see the beer. I wanted to see the beer. It's very syrupy. It's very syrupy. I wanted to see the beer. I wanted to test you. So it's syrupy. I give, again, I give this a 3 out of 10. It's too syrupy. I don't think I'm going to have this again. Like, Bad. Okay, I can taste the syrup here. Like teeny teeny lots of it. The Torabika caption was bad. I don't know why I thought it was good after the first sip, but it was very syrupy. So next we're gonna try the Santos cappuccino. It also comes with the choco granule. So this is made in Indonesia as well. I tried to peel off the tag to see it. So as far as I can tell, it says product of Indonesia. So we're gonna try the cappuccino from Santos Cappuccino. Again, this has like a lot of powder. And our cup is small. Yeah, and our cup is small because we wanted to give all the coffees a fair chance. And if we took a big mug, it wouldn't have been fair to like the smaller, little, ones. smaller ones, the lighter ones. Too grainy because I think I couldn't mix properly. But it, whatever. Maybe because I'm a mix with the party, I guess, because this is a small. Niche into green, it just upper. I think it's fine. Ooh, Ooh it's strong. Teeny night. Is it without sugar? I don't know. It's not sweet at all. 
there's no sugar in it. There's no sugar in it. So basically it's two in one, but I like it, it's strong. It's not bad. I think this is significantly yeah. better. I would give this a 6 out of 10. I mean, I'm not judge it. I don't know why it's good. I don't know why it's good. It has that weird smell. No, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I stand by it. I guess it's a 6 out of 10. It's pretty good. So I've tried like 7 inches coffee still now. We have like 3 left, 1 cappuccino and 2 hazelnut ones. So let's try the Cappuccino from Delizio Caffino. Sounds very Italian, but this is a product of Indonesia again. Packaging day is very nice and it's with real coffee and real milk. No, oh, it's very fine. Fine dine. Color is different than the other ones, right? Among the cappuccinos, this Cafe Delizio had a better mixability. The other ones are kind of grainy. So let's try this. Cappuccino from Delizio Caffino. This one has less foam as well at the top the other ones. Okay, it's good. No, let's not get excited. Let me try it again. I like how it feels in my mouth. It's very silky, but then it has a weird aftertaste. We had to taste Artificial. Like initially kele. Yeah, initially kele, I like the I like, I like the, the feeling taste. and the taste, but then it to aftertaste it to weird no. Pap chu to me achke at the disagree kutta suka na wa chase. To me eat cha kore aun kutta so. To me ki proof kutta cha chho. To me coffee kona sir. I get I get to think that this one is like significant. Yeah, this is de definitely better yeah. than all the cappuccinos I've had. Akhon pochon to kintu ik to aftertaste ik to weird. Instant coffee. Yeah, I agree. Karo, jaise. given. Oh, given. Yeah, this is definitely a seven out of ten. So the last two coffees that we have are both hazelnut flavored. One is from again the Delizio Caffino we just tried, and the other is one from Nest Cafe. So let's try the um, Delizio Caffino. It has less sugar, with real coffee, but it's artificially flavored. Obviously, I'm not expecting them to give like real hazelnut. They are finer than the yeah. Tora Bika and Ugula. So yeah. those are like more bigger, way here. And this costs like 5 taka more than the other ones. 5 or 10 taka? So we ordered some coffees from Chaldal, some of them we got from Unimart, some we got from Shopnos. You can basically find these everywhere. Especially like the Torabiko and the Kopiko one, you can definitely find them like Basha Shamner or Basha Dokan as well. So this is hazelnut coffee, hazelnut latte from the Delizio caffeine. Smells very hazelnut, like a very nice hazelnut smell. Ooh. Ooh, like. I like it. Well, I actually like it more than their cappuccino. This tastes great. It has a distinct hazelnut flavor and then it has no artificial, even though it's artificially flavored, it has no bad aftertaste, artificial taste. I like the amount of caffeine in it. It, and like, yeah, it's mishita, very silky. Mishita. Yeah. Mishita, the sugar. The amount of sugar is also great. This has less sugar in it, so that's a plus point if you don't want more sugar in your coffee. I'd give this 8 out of 10. The only one to have gotten an 8 yet. Let's see how this one does. Our last one, the final one. Let's see. So, we've come to the end of our video with the last remaining coffee the Nescafe Hazelnut Latte. Everyone's a bit excited about this. Yeah. This is like 25 taka. Nescafe nailed all their mixability. It might not have tasted great, all of them, but mixing wise, A. Plus. Hazelnut latte from Nescafe. Ooh, but mm, milky dish. It's not as good as the milky other one. Agita Kapo, this tastes very milky. Yeah, it's a bit, it's it's a bit too more milky. milky. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not really getting that hazelnut flavor. It's a good. Latte, but is it a good hazelnut latte? I don't think so. Like I like the other one more than this. This is 25 taka, I think that was like 30 or 35. 35. Like dosh taka difference. And I definitely prefer this. I'd give this a 7 out of 10. So guys, this was my hot take on instant coffees. I tried 10 different instant coffees in this video and I rated them according to my preference and which one I thought was the best instant coffee that I will probably have again. Do let me know what your favorite instant coffee is and if there are any more instant coffees that I should try. Also, I hope you guys are having a blessed month of Ramadan and since it's Ramadan, I'm probably not going to be going out much 
most of my videos are probably gonna be at home and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one peace